The estimated time of arrival is uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, which is uh, perfect. Early, but uh, it will absolutely be uh, later than that. Because I'm going to stop a while here and there. Might be that I uh, put up uh, the drone again. And there is also an inn in the, the, the Lake District somewhere. Lake District or Peak District, I'm not sure about it. I thought the Lake District which is no, known as the highest pub in the UK. And I want to uh, visit that uh, pub because a friend of mine, Jan Paul, and another friend of mine, Adri, has visited that pub a couple of years back on a trip. They made a picture of that. Jan Paul sent me that picture and said to me, if possible, I would like to have the same picture with you in front of the pub. So that's something that I have on my bucket list for today. The Rhinos Pass. That means that the Hard Knot Pass is there also. Uh, because those two passes are <coughs> very close to each other. And the Hard Knot Pass and the Rhino Pass, hey, another squirrel. Those passes, not a squirrel. Lots of squirrels here. Those passes are famous here in this area. A lot of bikers are scared shitless about them because of uh, the steep angle of those passes, which is 25% climbing. Or 25% going down, uh, depending of from what direction you are coming. So uh, a lot of motorcycles which have less experience are very uh, scared about uh, those passes. Okay, rhinos is coming up. All kinds of warnings. Now the only thing that can make it a little bit more difficult for me now is the heavy luggage I have on the bike. Because the bike is now is top heavy. So if it is uh, tipping uh, over a little bit then I'm losing uh, my control. But the landscape is stunning. Ah, uh, this is challenging. This is really challenging because this is steep. And it is challenging because I feel the top weight of the bike with all the luggage on it. So I have to be very careful. Yeah, I have to be very careful. I can feel the weight of the bike working. But, look at the landscape. Look at the landscape. Can I put the bike down here?
there's a car, there's a van coming up. I think it's wise to let that guy pass first. The, the luggage on the bike is the main issue now. If the bike has a little, no luggage, then it would be much easier. But I can feel the, the front wheel is having a very little grip. And everything is now, in terms of weight, pushing uh, the, the back wheel. So if I gave a little bit um, too much gas, then the front is uh, wants to lift. And that's something I do, I do not want, so I have to be very careful. to have some momentum but the back wheel have a live on its own now with all the luggage. Uh, this works out. That's mostly the issue. If I give a little bit more gas, then the front wheel wants to go up. I can feel that. And you don't have a clue how steep this is. I have almost no pressure on the front wheel now. Everything is on the back tire. But still, scenery is stunning. And now I can go down. Which means I do have a little bit more pressure on the front wheel. The road is also very bad, so the bike is bumping everywhere around. What a scenery, look at that. Stunning. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What a view! Now, I already had put the drone up and I do not want to put the bike down here. Because I need to have it rolling and I need to manage the top weight. This is challenging. Also, yeah, this is very challenging. Because I feel the weight of the luggage pushing in my back.
I need to ha have the bike exactly right, right up. If it is a little bit tipping over with this very slow speed, then it is really tipping over. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, more difficult than the Stelvio people. That's absolutely <laughs> true. Because it's very narrow, the corners are very tight, it is very steep. So I can really imagine that people saying, well, the hard knot. The hard knot is a thing to be aware of. And as far as I can tell, yeah, I see a, the bridge coming up. I can remember that bridge from other YouTube videos I have seen from other people. So I think I had have had now the most difficult uh, part. The rhinos pass. Uh, the hard knot pa passes. The most famous one, as far as I can tell. This is the Rhinos uh, Pass, which is also a famous one. But the most challenging one is the, the Hard Knot, which I just did. Now, fortunately, I have fantastic weather. If I sh should have done this in the uh, the pouring rain. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, the challenge then remains the same, of course, but then you have worse conditions. Now I have perfect conditions. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is less difficult, but it's still steep, uh, people. It's steep. It's unfortunate you cannot see on video how steep it is. Yeah. When you see this on video, you really don't have a clue. But if I tell you that it <laughs> that this is steep, yeah, 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 take my word for it. I have to say honestly that when it comes to uh, motorbike riding, this is uh, the most uh, challenging, challenging thing I have done so far in my entire bike life. I really mean that. Uh, now this is not that very difficult uh, any longer. The hard knot, ten minutes back, was. Uh, something completely different. <laughs> yeah guys, and now... Ah, uh, cuties. Come on. I'm waiting for you, no problem. Come on cuties, come on cuties, there's a way out there. Ah, oh, dead beasts. Oh, okay, the, the dock is finishing, yeah, but now these two. Guys, go to the left. Oh, 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 dead beasts. Yeah, eh. Now, might be. I'm questioning, do I have another issue? Can I put it here? 
let's do that. Uh, let's uh, check the, the luggage because it might be. No, not. I was thinking a little bit if the top case was uh, broken down or whatever, but that's not the case. But look at this mess. I have to redo something here. The luggage has been bumped everywhere. The reason I am driving here is very close by. We have the Ten Hill pub, which is the pub, the highest pub in the United Kingdom. But I have promised Jan Paul to take a picture with my bike in front of the Ten Hill pub, because he has done the very same thing a couple of years back together with uh, our friend Adri, who passed away, unfortunately. So he said to me, I want you to make the same picture. I'm going to do that. I think the Ten Hill pub is now here at my left side. Yeah, there it is. The Ten Hill pub. And I need to have now first that picture. And I think Adri has made the picture a little bit further forward, so I'm going to do the same thing. Because I don't want to have any complaints. Okay. Done. I have the pictures. Whoa! Yeah, 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 also this is beautiful. All these landscapes has its own beauty. Twenty five percent. Okay. I also saw, yeah, there's the car. I saw a car coming up. It was ooh, all kinds of Ferraris. No, Porsches. Oh, it is the Porsche Club. Yeah, it's the Porsche Club. The Porsche Club is doing its tour. at the ferry. P&O ferry hull 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 with an O. Back to Rotterdam. P&O ferry vehicle check-in. No. Okay. This is always a little bit of a challenge. P&O ferry vehicle check-in. I'm going to do that. Okay. And the passport. Okay, thank you.
Uh, through the shed? Yeah, straight down. Okay. Straight down. okay. <laughs> okay. Hi. Are you okay? I'm okay. Yeah, getting any pen knife? <laughs> I need. Uh, he wants to check my suit, my top case. That's the first thing I have. Customs check in. <laughs> Lovely. Customers want to check my bike. I think. Uh, I just uh, put the bike here. Nice place to put it down. This is the last and final episode of my Scotland and North England holiday video coverage. I love the country, its people and its awesome landscapes. I had a fantastic holiday. Also thanks to the weather which was mostly pretty good, that's not always the case here. I am back in the Netherlands and I am driving home now. If you like my videos, please give them a thumbs up and please subscribe down below, I would really appreciate it. Thank you.